Good morning, science learners. This is Mrs. Lloyd Abuslay, and I will be your guide as we continue our journey into the science world. Today, we are going to learn about the DNA. So what is DNA? Where is it? And why is it important? We are going to learn what is DNA and why is it called as the blueprints of the living things. As featured in the cover page, you can see here the double helix structure of the DNA. So there are two strands and it is consists of three components. And you will soon find out what do the letters T, A, C, and G represent. So are you ready? Did you know that on average, humans are 99% biochemically similar to each other? This is because of what we call the DNA. There are still other three we presented in your printed modules. So read and be amazed of the trivia. So after going through the activities of this module, you are expected to 1. Describe the components and structure of a DNA molecule. Second, determine the complementary base pairs in a DNA molecule. And third, simulate DNA replication. In your previous grade, specifically in grade 7, you found out that there are three main structures of the cell, which are the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. The nucleus is actually considered as the control center of the cell, and that is because it controls all activities of the cell, and it also contains what we call the genetic material. The nucleus has a nuclear membrane, which separates its components from that of the cytoplasm. Now, what is found inside the nucleus? Inside the nucleus, we have what we call thread-like structures called as the chromatin. And this chromatin is actually consists of DNA, our lesson for today, and we have the histone proteins. And so, the DNA is found in the chromatin, and once this chromatin condenses, then they are known as the chromatid, which is also known now as the chromosome. And this chromosome will now carry the genetic material. The DNA molecule is again described as a double helix structure, and that was discovered by two scientists. We have James Watson and Francis Crick. So as you can see, we have here a twisted ladder-like structure, and that will now represent the structure of the DNA. But what makes up a DNA molecule? If we try to compare, the DNA is a house, and house is made up actually of hollow blocks, bricks, and these bricks will now represent what we call the building blocks of the DNA, which we call as the nucleotides. Each nucleotide is made up of three components. One, a sugar, which is called as dioxyribose. It is actually a pentose or a five-carbon sugar. Second, the phosphate. And third, the nitrogenous bases. And these nitrogenous bases are the ones carrying the genetic material, which is responsible for heredity. Now, the nitrogenous bases are made up of four types. We have adenine, which pairs with thymine, guanine, which pairs with cytosine. And it could also be otherwise or vice versa, meaning thymine will only pair with adenine, and cytosine will also pair with guanine. So these are what we call the complementary base pairs in a DNA molecule. In the other parts of the printed module, specifically in the What's More section, you are presented with three activities along with three assessments. In activity two, your output will be a DNA model. And how are you going to do that? In your printed module, you have <laughs> in your printed module, you have the different shapes that represent the different components of a nucleotide. We have the dioxyribose, the phosphate, and the thymine. So you have to trace them on a separate paper or a colored paper and cut them out and use them to form your model. And to show you a sample, 
The first shape represents the dioxyribose. The middle one represents the phosphate group. And there are four different shapes that represent the different nitrogenous bases. And this specifically represents thymine. So now, you have here a DNA molecule. And this is specifically the thymine molecule. Now, you have to form the lower parts of your left chain. So follow the given guide in your printed module. And by the way, DNA replication is one of the special properties of a DNA molecule. It has the ability to unzip and make copies of itself. And how is that possible? By way of complementary base pairing. So all you have to do is to come up with the right chain of your left chain. And how is that possible? So this is your left chain. This is your thymine molecule. You can attach the other parts using a string. And all you have to do is to look for the complementary base pair or the partner of thymine. And that would actually form your right chain. So now, you have your DNA model. And I hope your model looks like this. Do you have somehow the same model? If yes, congratulations, you did well. I hope you were able to understand the concepts presented. Now, by way of checking your mastery level, you have to answer the post-assessment part, which is made up of 15 item tests. So, if you got 12, to 15 points, meaning that you mastered the competency needed in this module. If you have some clarifications, questions, queries, then feel free to contact the developer by way of my contact number, which is 0908-378-674, or you can reach me through my FB account or messenger, Loida Albis Boslay. So with this, Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.